बीएमएस एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है बेसिकली दिस ऑटो कैड इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक टूल नॉर्मली यूज बाई इंजीनियर्स टू ड्रा मैकेनिकल सिविल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइव बट अदर ड्राइवमैन ऑल्सो कैन यूज दीज थिंग्स फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग ड्राइव्स दिस ऑटो कैड टूल वॉज इन्वेंटेड समय इन नाइनटीन एटी टू एंड बाई अराउंड Twenty uh, nine editions have been releases. I mean, sorry, releases have been done so far. First release is in nineteen eighty two. This now uh, this auto cap. We are not discussing about how to install, what are its requirement to install, and all that. We directly start it. How to utilize it? Auto cap is just like a drawing board with instruments. And various uh, drawing aids by the draftsmen utilized for preparing drawings. So here we are using an electronic tool. It is basically uh, located in a personal computer, either on a desktop. What we are showing here is a desktop, or it may be located in the bar in the. The start menu just shown here. Okay, uh, this is AutoCAD release thirty, and we will start the lesson with this. Like this AutoCAD can be opened by clicking the mouse button, and the first wizard you get a board wizard. I use a wizard. Use a wizard means we can select everything from scratch. That is. The drawing size, the system you want to draw, and angle of uh, rotation, angle of the mirror, in which direction, and many other things. And also there is an option. If I click on this, you get an option where you can directly select the file which is already existing, and if you want to modify it. Otherwise, if you want to start from scratch, a new drawing, then you have to click a white sheet shown here like this. Then it gives you uh, different settings: imperial and metric. Imperial setting is a new system where you are preparing the drawing in inches in the British system. Metric is when uh, you are preparing the drawing in millimeters. Uh, meters, etc. Now I have selected by clicking this icon. You can shift over either implement imperial system or metric system. I am using a metric system now. Now after clicking this metric system, we have to go to the next sheet as shown by the arrow mark. Like this, you click once, and you will get various templates. Templates are just like a drawing blank drawing sheets. Which is normally draftsman will prepare before starting any drawings. That means he will draw the margin, he will draw nail plate and uh, detail uh, descriptions, whatever is required, standard descriptions, and uh, the sizes will be either A4, A3, or any size. He will draw on a blank sheet and then start working on it. This is all. If I click on this, the standard sheet will be. Given to you, and you can work on that. In case you want to make your own sheet, like a draftsman prepares a sheet, then what you have to do, you have to leave this and click next like this. Then it gives a drawing setup and quick setup. Now we will consider quick setup means quickly it can proceed only two parameters you can enter and you can proceed with the drawing. Now since we are learning, we will go with advanced setting. If you click OK, then what it presents. Is a screen and it shows you units, what type of unit you want to use: decimal, engineering, architectural, fraction, scientific. You see, scientific is in the exponential power. Fraction is one by sixteen like that. Architectural is also inch and um, uh, fraction of inch. Inch. Engineering system is also inches. 
in decimal and uh, decimal system is just a fraction. Here we can enter the position to what size you want to have the sheet. Suppose the position you do uh, not require so many position to, uh, that is the line is to be drawn to 2.0001 millimeter. Okay. Or it may be drawn 2.3503 millimeter. If you don't want such a high position, what you can select is uh, just one decimal position. Or any position you want, you can select two. Then it can be 2.12. You can draw a line 2.12 accuracy. That is two decimal accuracy. If one, one decimal accuracy, the three, it is four decimal accuracy, like that. Since we are selecting millimeter, we can select only one decimal accuracy. Then you can select next. Here it gives the degrees. How, what is the degrees? Degrees you can say precision. Here also you have a precision. Either it could be more precision. It will only to one degree. Or if you want to fraction, you have to click here. It shows fraction degrees. That is 1.2 degrees, 1.3 degrees. If you want two, uh, two decimal precision, it shows 1.12, 1.13 like that. So now we select uh, just without any round of figure, without any position, decimal position. Then angle measurement, uh, you can select angle measurement how you want. It is in degrees means 90 B. Okay, okay. Here also you can have position which I have already shown. So here we can take the position like this. Degrees, minutes, second. All you can indicate. If you say like this, 90 degree minutes, uh, 0 minutes. If you next position, if you select 90 degree 0, 0, like that it keeps on giving the position. Now we select 0 degree without any position. And these are other units. <coughs> This is gradient, that is the slope, what you call, and this is the angle in radians. You know what is a radian? Radian is the basic measurement, one of the basic measurement of an angle. Uh, it is defined as the ratio of circle to its radius, ratio of perimeter of a circle to its radius. This is comes out to be. Uh, 2 pi variance. So this you can read books and you will understand what it is. And this is surveyor's uh, angle notation. Surveyor's, uh, when they are doing surveying, uh, when you are doing surveying, you have to know the north, west, east directions and these things you can select here. So now at present we select only decimal degrees. Now the precision we take zero precision and now we go to next. And here the measurement of the angle. How you want to measure angle? See here he has shown the arrow. It measures from east to north west. And suppose you want to measure it from north, then it comes from north measurement. Now that is measurement will be from it to be zero here and it measures 90 like that. If it is east, it is zero in the east horizontal direction, and from there you count recall 0, 10, 15, 90 like that. North will zero will be calculated from vertical direction and measures like that. Similarly, west is in this direction. It is west it is zero and measured in the in the same direction. Direction will be the same, but zero is come from west towards the left. Similarly, south and any other things you can say partial 270 degree or what uh, angle you have to start. Either you have to start from somewhere here. Suppose I draw a line, so that angle you can mention here. Now at present we just measure from the east, this is coming to me most of the places, this is the measurement most of the people in places used, east measurement, east in the clockwise direction. So this it shows here clockwise, okay, we are taking this. Now next it shows angle of direction, angle is counterclockwise. See the arrow is shown, in the opposite direction the clock, it is counterclockwise, the angle is measured as positive. And if you select clockwise, the angle will be measured in the opposite end. From east to the zero, it goes like this, from here like this, and this is called clockwise direction. Now at present, we select counterclockwise. Then, next one is area. Area here, we 
you can select drawing sheet size. Since we are starting with start thing from scratch, we can select the drawing size. Width. So normally this size is this is normally uh, a three size. See drawing sheets are being already standardized as A A, A4, A3, A2, A1, and A0. Each will have definite sizes. You can refer your drawing books, you will get. And the presently we have 420 mm width and 487 mm uh, length. This is the size, this is A3 size. Okay. And now we have 297 vertical, this one, and width is 420. Now we can say finish. So this is the drawing sheet size to select it. Okay. Now the, drawing, the AutoCAD will look like this as shown on the screen. So this is the black portion. This is the portion is where we are. This is a drawing board we can say. Drawing board is this one. Whatever we have shown. And these are all your drawing tools. This one, this one, this one, this one. Everything we can assume as drawing tools. There is various types of drawing tools so that it will be easier to draw any type of drawing or any complications. So we will come to drawing tools and later on. Uh, before we discuss, uh, before that we discuss about the coordinate system. Uh, see, as you know, there are two types of coordinates: rectangular coordinates and polar coordinates. In the rectangular coordinates, the measure, and this is also called as Cartesian coordinates, and the measurement should be made from uh, x-axis and y-axis. Suppose you want to fix a point, zero is the this is called zero point x y. This is like a coordinate. From here towards right, we are measuring positive, towards upward, measuring positive, and downward x, uh, downward y, negative, x, left side, negative, and just as you know these things. And now, see this is, this whatever is moving up, the vertical line and the horizontal line, this is called the cursor. Now this cursor has been extended full full drawing board. If you do not want to extend the cursor to the full drawing board, what you have to do is there is an icon, menu icon. See here, I have a infer constraint CTRL so uh, CTRL plus shift plus I. Now if you click on this you get constraints. So what you have to do uh, you see this is called as the uh, here you can change the uh, cursor and other many many other things, many other parameters you can change here. Before that, let me uh, discuss about the command line. This is the command line where you can give a command to the computer to what to do. That is whether to draw a line, whether to draw a circle, whether to draw a particular plane figure or any particular drawing or anything one by one. And now this cursor, if you type in the command line, suppose you want to change the cursor sign, what you have to do is you have to type C U R. See, once you start typing, it automatically comes out as what is the new here, it has come. You want to sign the cursor size. You click on this cursor size. So enter the value here. It's 100 is full screen. Now enter a particular value, the cursor size will come down. See, now the cursor size has come down. If you want to enter, if you want to reduce the cursor size once again, because the command is already here, you can just click return, it will ask you once again the cursor size. Suppose you want to enter 10, the size you want to reduce, it will reduce to lesser size. So this is how you can change the cursor. Uh, so now we will go back to hard drive size for working purposes. I will keep full line extended vertical and vertical line both sides. This cursor is like a, we can say more or less a dual protractor and a T square. How you can right, align the, uh, uh, before drawing, how you are going to align to draw a line. We may compare with that. Dual, yes, try 
entre t square and the square uh, you see the ninety degree square and also the bigger protractor if you want to draw the lamp. Now next what we do is we discuss about the nearest two options. So after, before the before coming to other details. What see here these are all five edit two inside two such etc. These are the menus. These are five I menu mean, icons where you click it drop down menus they are called because when you click it a menu will drop down. These are all various function activity that you can do the drive. For example, new means you can sheet a can open new uh, new sheet blank sheet. Open means you can open a new drawing which is already done and you want to continue. Close means you can close the drawing and import means you want to bring some other drawing on this <coughs> AutoCAD you can bring. Attach means some more just like attachment you have to attach some drawing. Export means this drawing will be exported to some other uh, program file and DW you convert. This, this format, the DW this AutoCAD format is called DWG and this can be converted and this is called DWG conversion. Like that there is various uh, description, P etc, Plotting Manager, PR, Plot Style etc. These are all we will discuss in detail when we come to that portion because if I discuss now we will forget it and we will go step by step. So one more thing in AutoCAD what we have to understand is it is, just, it is not just going one after the other. We have to come back and go back and head back and forth. We have to go. See, uh, for example, if you want to make a food, what you do, you cut vegetable and put it in boiling water and then you cook masala, etc. etc. You can learn the entire process. In this process you don't reverse. But in AutoCAD, in learning AutoCAD, you cannot do like that. First, we will proceed with simple basic things and then the same basic things we may have to come back once again to know some more parameters or some more uh, menus. For example, suppose you want to draw a line. If you just know about drawing line, that is not sufficient. When you go ahead, you may have to come back to know some more properties of the line. So we will come like that, we have to do back and forth moment when learning the AutoCAD. Now, as I discussed with you, this is an edit menu. Here you have cut copy and all those things. We will discuss later on all these things. I will briefly tell you what are the things. <coughs> this is redrawing. Uh, this is the sheet, clean screen, warp, camera, etc. Toolbars. This is one toolbar. If you click on this, you will get a toolbar. Okay? See, like just toolbar you get. We will discuss about this later on in the later stage. Okay? Then next comes insert. We want to insert some other drawing here. You see, for example, you want to, you like a template. So you have a template, what do you do? You keep a template and draw on your drawing. Well, like that, you a template has a dusty shape and you draw it there. You see. Like this, you can simply insert another drawing here, which you cannot do in when you are manually drawing on a drawing board. Format, this is also a different text style, etc. with the dimension style, how you want to dimension, whether you want to add or not, or just you want to cross, you want to round the uh, points, etc. This we will discuss once again later on when we discuss in detail. These are all various commands, AutoCAD command, these are like this draw, etc. So many things. Now, at present, we have to learn basic things. The one of the most basic things is under proof, there is a one menu. The drop down menu, one function, one thing, one thing, option. We have to know about this before going ahead with the AutoCAD. So I would, if you will just go when you start and click option, you will get you, you understand what I am going to tell you. Now here the option is clear when you will screen will be open and there are various uh, details, menu details, file, display, open, plot, publish, system, user defined drafting, modeling, selection, profile, online, etc. Now what we have to do uh, here, uh, if you click on this, you will get another file, what you have to add, browse, etc. This we will discuss later on when we come to that portion of uh, AutoCAD. And this way, this is important here, we need to know about this at this juncture. See, here we show 
color scheme, that is the color scheme of the board, that is the screen, the screen. So color scheme we have kept it dark here, it's the dark color. And then we can select display score score bar. See, I have discontinued score score bar. Suppose you click it, you can see the score bar. Scroll bar. See, then you click on this. Apply by view what is scroll bar. See, then you close it. This is what is scroll bar. So by this, you can see a portion of the view up and down. Okay, just like like this. Like this. So the drawing board will be still outside the screen and you can move it. You can do drawing outside the screen also. You can move it and you can see the portion which is hidden uh, after the screen. The drawing you can see. At present, I am going to close the scroll bar. So what I have to do, I have to uncheck this. So scroll bar will not be seen here. Click it. See, scroll bar the drawing board is only this much. So this computer screen where the drawing is only this area. You can see. And now next, we come to colors. See, colors, here we can select this. At present, we have selected black. Black, very dark. This is dark means. Color, we can select here. Uh, any color, you know, blue, green, red, white. See, if I click on this, it displays the various colors. Here, the black is selected. So, here we have red. Suppose I click red, the screen looks like this. And if I play and close, the screen becomes red. If I do not want this, you can click here. You can you can make the screen green. And if you do not want, then you can click here and make it white. The apply. Then you can close this. Like this close. You can get any color you want. The screen will be when you draw it. Here when you draw, you will get black lines. If you have selected here zero layer and black, and any color you select, you will get that color of the line. That we will discuss in the later later on. So this is how we can use the color scheme. At present, I will set it to black. For a click like this and press to apply. So this is uh, not uh, truly black. It is it is not dark. So what I am going to do is I make it light, make it dark. Um, here I can change it to black. This if you select it, it will not be fully black. 3340 uh, pixels will be there. Color codification. Here you select black. So it will be fully black. I have selected fully black. Okay. And besides, one more thing, you can select any combination of the colors. That is also here, that is same in three. You know, I just forgot to tell you about this. Here is the screen. Select the color, you can select the combination. And then you click that color you will see on the screen. Okay. So this I am not going to select at present. I will select the black and I will can do cancel. Now, this is to how we can select the colors of the board and then PC. Now fonts. These fonts are related to command options. Here whatever you command you type, that font is related here. Not your uh, whatever you draw it here in the board in the PC, that is not text matter, that is not the font, but it is only the font that you uh, give or write on the command line. That is the font. See, for example, uh, it's regular choice. And suppose I select, see, the size is in, see, what is the size now? Suppose I select like this, apply course, the size becomes smaller. Okay. Now, see, you should type something. Here you just see the command um, font. This is the font you get. Okay, this is fine. Now suppose I want to change that font. What you have to do is say you select the two option, one option, and font. So click on font. 
you can select anything. Go ahead and select. You get anything. This. And you want to dark color. Some other thing. You get after you close. See the point. Like this. So suppose we type it here. We see how we get dark. So this is how you can select fonts to be used on the command line. We will go back and select the original one. What I have selected, I would prefer to select and tell that should be sufficient for us. Apply and close. Apply. This is apply now. Now, uh, this needs to be discussed. These things we will discuss later on. Now, at the present, we don't need all these things. We will discuss. This is what cursor size. This you can either I enter the value cursor size and enter the value. Here also you can change the cursor size. Suppose I enter 20. See, cursor size is reduced. So, this either you can enter in the command line, what I have explained earlier, or cursor size. You can enter here. Cursor hair size. That is cursor hair size. That is a vertical and horizontal line. So now I am making it 100 full, full screen. Horizontal and vertical line. Now still we have to discuss some more things on options. Uh, next we will see these things we will discuss later on. Now we will come to next. Open and save. Here this is AutoCAD 13. See, you have AutoCAD 13 at present on the board and you can save as AutoCAD 13. Suppose you want to send the drawing to somewhere else and those people won't be having the drawing. Then they cannot open the drawing saved on AutoCAD 13. Then they may be having the drawing saved on 2000. Then you have to select this. Then you can use whatever drawing you make and that can be saved. Uh, such that it can be open if you have 2000 AutoCAD. But the same drawing can be open in higher releases, but not in the lower releases. For example, AutoCAD 2000 has selected. If you do the drawing with AutoCAD 2000 as an open and save the drawing, you can save it as AutoCAD 2000. You can open in AutoCAD 2000 or you can also open it down below, other than R14, 2000. Uh, R14 you can do, but you cannot say on, you cannot open on this thing, 2010. Suppose you open, say it in 2010, then this time you also open it, then you cannot save it in 2000, or you cannot save in R14. So, you have to be, you should know which method, which release you want to save, which release you want to save, that you can select here. And now, this are all we will discuss later on. At this stage, we don't need all these things. And next step is plot and publish. This is what, see here, AutoCAD can be saved as drawing file or it can be saved as a PDF file. Here we can select, well, this is called printing. Printing as PDF means go to printing file, which is saved as PDF. That is called the printing uh, output input device. Use input device to save it as PDF you can play. Either you can save it as PDF or you can save it as JPG or you can experience anything. Now I have selected PDF. If you want to save it as PDF, you can be saved as PDF. And then have configuration patterns. We will discuss later on the automatic publish setting. All these things you can discuss later on. At present, whatever is necessary, those things I will discuss. Now, next is system. This also at present I will discuss. And performance, this also we will not discuss now. And drafting, here we will discuss about something about this. This apertures and all, we will discuss these things once we draw a line. After that, uh, we will know more about it. And then selection, here uh, this 3D we are not doing and we are not discussing selection. This is a pick box size. This is a pick box size, it can be reduced or it can be increased. Okay, this we will discuss it when it comes to that very shortly. Okay, then I am okay. See, uh, now you, 
Jesse, the Apache of the the square mark at the junction of the uh, crosshairs, the square mark, that you can change it to your requirement by having like this. See, it is reduced, size is reduced. So this can be selected as your option. See, it can be increased. Now it is increased. This pick box size, this size is increased. I am making it a smaller one. Apply, close. Now we have learned about various options you can select to sum up color selection, font selection to be printed in the uh, command line, aperture pick box size you can select, save as you choose that we have learned about it. Now we, we are fairly ready to go ahead with other things. Now you see the screen here. Snap mode, integrated display, ortho mode, polar tracking, object snap, object 3D snap, object snap tracking, allow disallow dynamic and new dynamic input and hide and show. We will discuss a few of them now and then we will discuss the thing. Uh, one more important thing, uh, at present what we discuss is a grid display. You can press either F7 on the keyboard, on the keyboard or you click on this. See, you got the grids. This is like a graph sheet. Okay? This is a graph sheet. It's a round graph sheet. So when you want to draw a line, you can use this grid uh, whenever it is required. This is particularly used when you want to and draw the layouts and other things where you, where you want to move the entire time by exactly same numbers. That you will know about later on and once you know you can open this. And if I click on this, it goes off. And here if I click on this, settings will come to settings. See here in the settings, see it is 10, 10. That means the spacing between each display, display is 10 10 and grid x spacing 10 10 x spacing 10 10 and 10 10 see here it is spacing is 10 10 suppose I switch on so the distance from here to here is 10 to this is 5 5, five. see here I will show you how it is setting right click you get setting then you open it and you will see this is 10 spacing, the 10 mm, each square is 10 mm, and each major line, every line is at 5. This major line, this is major line. This, 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 this are all major lines, which you can see in one minute. The smaller lines are this. So the distance between this and this is 10 mm, and each small major line will be just Point, uh, two this is 10 mm equally divided with square and inside square. The spacing is 10 mm. Here also snap to grid spacing is 10 mm. Snap will come to you later on. When we are talking about this portion, don't be get confused. We are discussing about this portion. 10 grid spacing, why grid spacing is 10 mm. You can change to any different value. Automatically you can change to different value. Click on this, the spacing is very big. Now it is 5 mm, inside it is. And then once again, right click, setting. Now, suppose you want to keep this 10 mm, and you want to change this to 10 mm. Then what happens? Each line is divided into 10 mm. Instead of 5, it is divided into 10 mm. Okay? Now click and select and then we keep it as 5. Now here we come to what is snap spacing. See if I 
Kuyo yes si abzada Kumuli Kili ya kundi ni isu No breakage Ok Tapo ya wendu dry line I can click on this You can move anywhere I will discuss about drawing a line later on But I will just show you why You can move anywhere But suppose I am Setting if I change this Snap on Or press your feet then what is going to happen and grip on grip down to show the graphs if you don't have grip down then it will be without any graph when grip is in on if you don't to put grip the graph is off so when grip is on you have to select grip on now here I have made snap also on so now what is going to happen just see observe. Suppose, see, if it moves in equal distance, you can see observe it. It moves in. You can next, you can fix time in a It will not move in fraction because that is because we selected 10. Okay? Yes, I will see you once again. Since you have selected this time this, it has been the same distance, time and time and time. You cannot do it by a fraction by moving the lines. Okay, now I will erase it. This is about various seconds. You can keep it as you may grid the one. This is the tenuous snap, bridge snap, isometric snap, polar snap. We will come to this later on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, setting. This, this also we will discuss shortly. This we will not discuss now. This, this, once I start drawing, then we will discuss this thing. Okay. Now, here is the option is there. If you click it, you will get back the screen once again. Here also we can change the upper chair and other things. This we will discuss later on. The upper chair and pitch box also we can select. This I will describe. Group I will tell you later on what is it. As I told you, you have to move back and forth to do. And you cannot continuously go ahead and have to come back once again to explain things. Now we start with a simple way of drawing the line. Now, see, there are these are all menus. Drop down menu, these are all called. The click here, and there is one more pop-up menu. Here there are some menus. You can use some, mention some functions, which are recently used. In the previous, whatever you use, those functions appear here. See, option we use, it comes here. It's always coming there. Uh, since you have to click, it is always there. A quick select from the action recorder, strength. So this zoom, this menu should be here. This menu pop up will keep on changing as you do drawing and whatever command you select before this pop up menu, that will appear here. So many commands. Okay. And now, these are all movies modifying dimension. This is used for dimension with drawing and draw command used to draw line ray multi line consume this is since I am not going to discuss now I discuss about line and we will also discuss about poly line or circle do not sky limits draw we will discuss later on table these things we will discuss later on text also we will discuss later on and dimension dimension linear align dimension R plane radius, diameter, baseline dimension, which I will discuss with it as a new process. And here there are other nodes, more movement, triangle you made, rectangle you made, and you want to move it, you can move it, rotate it by an angle, scale, these things are there. And parameter, this portion we will not discuss here. This is a new one in the latest releases, but it was not there in the original uh, say in the real life of 2007 uh, before that uh, it was not there this I will explain to you on the latest stage this new was all how to 